Hey, welcome back to Turntable Guy. On the bench today, we have a Project Essential. Uh, this one's come in for a, a basic minor service and a cartridge installation. We have the very popular Audio-Technica ATVM95E to install on it. That was just shipped over to me. And uh, other than that, we're just going to give this uh, table a quick service. Uh, we've got the main bearing. Uh, just set it up and we'll, we'll install the cartridge together. And we'll give it a sound test. Nothing, nothing too exciting here, but uh, uh, this gentleman picked up this uh, turntable very cheap. Um, it's in good shape. Uh, covers a little bit uh, scratched up and stuff, but uh, other than that, uh, everything's fine. And it's missing the anti-skate uh, weight, which is one of the other reasons that I, I don't like when there's a little weight on a on a spring. They always seem to go missing. I mean, uh, I've seen many of those hit my desk here where. Uh, They've, they've just they're gone right um, whereas the old spring loaded system um, that's built right into the turntable that's not going to disappear on you right so anyway uh why don't we start here uh i believe this uh cover just comes off like this and not a whole lot to these turntables they are 100 percent manual they are belt driven uh, and uh, the belt actually goes all the way around the platter. Um, one thing I did notice is the felt mat for this thing is like super cheap. It's almost like paper. It's so thin. Uh, I don't know if that's by design or if that's just this is a base model table. I'm not too familiar with these guys, uh, but it just seems like uber, uber cheap. So anyway, this piece of paper is what this is. Okay, we'll take that off. We'll remove our belt. It's a big, big belt. We're going to give that a cleaning. Remove our platter. Now the platter has the axle built right into it. There's our main bearing. There's a ball bearing in there. I didn't see any specifications for project... Um, oil so we're just going to use a standard oil i might even use that uh, electric uh, motor oil um, that i use quite a bit by uh, three in one uh, first thing we'll do is we'll clean out this bearing here Let's see if that ball bearing comes out so we'll gently put in a magnetic screwdriver this is a good little uh, little tool um, if you don't have magnetic screwdrivers you can magnetize your screwdrivers um, it's got a couple settings here, demagnetize at the top and magnetize on the bottom. So all you do is just, just run your uh, your screwdriver through here and uh, it'll become magnetic. Okay, I'm going in. So when you, if you're doing this, don't scratch the sides of the bearing well. I don't want to come out. Is there a ball bearing or am I seeing things? Where's that axle? Well, it's a flat, it's a flat axle. Usually when there's a flat axle, there should be um, a ball bearing of some kind. Okay, let's, uh, let's just uh, see if something comes out here. It's going to tap on the back of the uh, my soldering iron to get out of the way. I wonder if the bearings built, the ball bearings built in. Nope, no ball. Excuse my head. Maybe that, uh, maybe the ball bearing is built right into the bottom. We don't have to worry about pulling anything out. Anyway, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, you know the usual routine here. Clean out the existing oil. Oh, wow, this is pretty dry. There's nothing in here. Wow, there's like no oil in there at all. It's a little bit of uh, 
isopropyl alcohol on the Q-tip here. We just remove the old lubricant. There's like nothing in there. And uh, now that I got oil all over myself. Let me just see if I would again. So you want a paper towel. And a bit of alcohol. And you want to just clean off this axle here. Okay, squeaky clean. And uh, while we're at it, we'll give the belt a cleaning as well. long belt like this just uh, put it in and then just pull it through gently I've seen a few guys now on YouTube um, for belt services they're using um, a nail polish remover acetone and um, they're testing it first on plastics and, and belts to make sure it doesn't melt it which kind of worries me um, but they're saying it really restores maybe a little bit of gunk on this belt. It restores the, uh, takes the shininess off and restores the stickiness of the belt, the natural stickiness. I haven't tried it. Um, I, I, I may try it just on some cheap belts. I'm nothing too serious and see how it works. But uh, I always thought that uh, acetone and plastics were a no no, right? So. Okay, now we will. We're going to clean the motor pulley. And just a little bit of alcohol on a Q tip. There's two on here. There's a 45 position, which is the lower one. You have to manually, manually remove the belt to change speed here. We're just going to clean that off. And then we'll do the 33 slot as well. It's a little dirty, nothing too major. And one last thing, you want to clean the entire belt path, right? So because the belt rides on the outside of the platter, we're going to clean the outside of the platter as well. So just clean the outside like this. It's a little dirty. Okay. And now we'll do our lubrication. All right, so we'll use a little bit of the three in one electric motor oil. It's for electric motors. This is a non detergent oil. It's roughly a 20 weight. Put a few drops in there. And just a little bit on the spindle. Just to aid it down. And put it back. You get a little bit of pushback, you've overfilled it. Just give it a few minutes, it will come down. And finally, 
we're going to lubricate the motor just a little bit here with a, a drop of oil. Just put it at the base of the motor shaft. One drop will do you. And that's it for service. Now we're going to uh, do our cartridge. And I think, um, I think I'll bring you down for that. So we got a little bit of an angle, angular view here. Let me uh, set up the camera a little bit better. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to apologize now if this goes out of focus. Um, it's just a weird angle. Hopefully it turns out good. I think if I keep my hands in this area, it will stay focused on this area. So... Here's our cartridge, ATVM 95E. It's a bonded elliptical. We are going to remove the stylus and stylus protector for this. Set that aside. It comes with a set of screws and washers. You will not need very long screws because these um, well, first of all, the slots are angled, and then um, the, the thickness of the head shell itself is very thin, so. And I think I've stated this before, uh, the beauty of the ATVM95 series is it has um, uh, threaded nuts built right into the body so you don't have to worry about a nut all you have to do is mount the cartridge or put the screw through the top and you're done of course if you have butter fingers it's kind of hard which brings me back to that old kind of uh thing I like to say about uh, the T4P system and uh, P-mounts. I know they've really fallen out of favor, but boy, were they easy. You didn't have to worry about any of this stuff. Plug and play. Plug and play before Microsoft brought out plug and play. Okay, so we have that mounted. I just moved it forward. There's not a lot of play on this tone arm. Um, you probably have maybe five millimeters max for adjustment here. So, and it's really difficult to see. So I am going to put on my super high magnification readers here so I can get these wires on. Okay, get our blue next. You know, I like doing this stuff in real time. That way you, you get to see how really irritating this job is. And white. There we go. So I'm just gonna tighten up these screws just a little bit, just kind of center them for now in the head shell. Let's 
kind of get that cartridge lined up there. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly attach the stylus. And I'm going to plug in the audio cables because I want to check right away that we don't have any buzz or noise or hum. Perfect. Nice and quiet. All right, so that was pretty fast cartridge installation, actually. And I tell you, it's it's definitely the uh, the VM series that makes that easy. The Ortifon 2M series does that as well. They have uh, um, captured nuts in the cartridge body. It's it's just it's a godsend, right? So. All right, uh, let's pause and we'll get you back up and we'll do a quick alignment. You know, I'm just noticing something. I'm working on this turntable and I just put this LP gear alignment tool on here and I went to move the arm over. There's no finger left. Like none at all. How the hell? I mean, this is a manual turntable. What are you going to do? Do this? That is just danger waiting to happen, right? Oh, man. I wonder if there's a finger lift. Obviously, there's, there must be some kind of uh, finger lift that bolts onto the head shell, right? Uh, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to have a quick look. I, I probably don't have anything, but I'm going to have a quick look and see if I have something that might work. Unfortunately, I do not have anything, so we're going to have to be very, very careful here. Um, what I'm going to do first is I think I'm going to uh, balance up the tone arm and set uh, weight here. And how the hell do you even do that with this? There's no numbers here. I guess we're going to have to use a digital scale. Boy, this thing is really bargain basement, eh? Reminds me kind of of my, uh, my Rega P1. This is going to be... Uh, there's a little Allen key screw here at the back of the... You can't see that right here. Um, we're going to have to loosen that, obviously, to get the right weight. Let's see where we're at right now about destroying the stylus. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, wait a second here. There's there's an arm left. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that's not bad. 1.93. It needs to be two grams for this cartridge. But he should have a finger left, right? I mean... Can someone put it in the comments section? Does this turntable come with a figure lift? Because that's that's just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I don't know what size Allen wrench this is. But I don't need to move it very much. It's too small. Let's go with this. Move it just a smidge inwards. Let's try that. Whoa, I barely moved that. Holy. Wow. I'm going to pause. Basically, I'm just moving this back and forth. I don't want to bore you to tears. Let me get that at two grams and I'll be right back. Okay, I did get it up to about 1.98 grams and I stopped playing with it at that point. 
what I've done here is I'm going to use this quick alignment protractor by LP gear um, since there's not a lot of uh, range of movement here. So what we're going to do is, um, let me just lift this for you. We're putting the tip of the diamond down on the dot and then what we're doing is dropping the needle down here and we're adjusting the body of the cartridge so it is perfectly straight within these lines. Now it's a bit of an eyeball thing to do to line it up um, and you can't really see the cartridge very well because it's kind of hidden by the head shell. So I'm have to, I have to look at it from the front to do my little adjustments and once it's perfectly uh, parallel, both sides are parallel with those lines, we'll lock it up and, uh, and be done with it. So I'm just going to continue on with that and we'll get it all lined up. All right, well, I am happy with the alignment that I got. I'm happy that uh, everything's spinning nicely. What I'm not very happy about is there's no finger lift and the anti-skating is missing. But we do have the tracking force adjusted correctly. So anyway, so I can operate this turntable right now. We're gonna have to lift that. And we're gonna have to be very careful because the only way to get this over right now is to Kind of push it. No finger left is very annoying. All right, let's see what she sounds like. Sounds good. This cartridge always sounds great. Nice punch. That was great. Awesome. Not a whole lot to uh, really go over here. That's that's the project essential. Um, yeah. So if you have one of these. Uh, let me know if there's a finger lift for this thing. It's got to be, right? It's got to be something that mounts either underneath the head shell or over here where the screws go through the cartridge, is what I'm thinking. Um, you know, they can't be that cheap that they didn't give you a finger lift, right? Um, but that's it. I mean, that was a quickie, just a quick service, lubricate, lubricate, and set up. And uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.